Hey, fall is here, air is a little more crisp, it's time to go hunting. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle and welcome to KSL Outdoors. For tonight's show, we brought you to Central Utah. We're here hunting a CWMU for speed goats. We've got four great organizations that have all got hunters here. We're gonna take them out, try and bag them a big old buck. <laughs> yeah, I had my energy drink and some uh, some water. I'm good. Thank you so much, Ken. Still looking at some goats? Yeah. The Utah CWMU Association, along with the DWR, help facilitate four buck antelope tags for four different nonprofits who then invited four hunters here for the hunt. Don't feel like you have to shoot the first one. You can do whatever you want. It is your call. And there's some good bucks. There's a, a good number of, of bucks that are in the older age class. One group could do four hunts, but four groups can do a hunt each and make it special for each guy. King's Camel, a local company, you've heard of them. Um, they're a really good company. They work with UCOA, they work with KSL. Anything we ask, they're always there to support. And UCOA's guy is 18-year-old Jackson Hill. Pretty excited? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little nervous, but... Yeah. Especially when you got a conservation officer riding with you. Yeah. <laughs> but he was probably around 13 years old, so when we started noticing the signs, it was seventh, seventh grade and he just started to deteriorate. There was benign meningioma tumors growing in his spinal cord, on his spinal cord. We've got to the point, we went through the chemo, through the radiation, through surgeries, uh, to trying to remove them, and there's one stubborn one that's in the spinal cord. They can't, it, it's inoperable, they can't get to it. It's 200 yards, man, he's good at 200. So that'll be plenty, I think. Jackson is up first. All four organizations will follow to support him on the hunt. What's awesome to me is, is there's people that are willing to give up their time and they want to see kids have a good experience. To me, I mean, I just look, there's how many guys are here? 12 guys? And they should have a heck of a lot more to do than come and follow a kid shoot an antelope. And for the past few years, our community has been so awesome. People do amazing things, absolutely amazing things. This is just an extension of that. Yeah, he's like a, a nice pivot. buck. The guys we're with, so he looks like a good buck. Should we put a move on it? We just drive down the road to the pivot, you know, to the center. It just seems like if we, if you have one that goes out in the middle, it might be used to it. It might take off like crazy, I don't know. Well, let's see if he stays there. Cool thing about hunting the farmland here is we got some barriers and stuff, so we pull up to the end of the pivot. Well, let's see what we can do. And uh, we've been practicing with Jackson in the chair with a little ladder. He gave him a good, nice rest, rest his shoulder on there with the gun on the claw. Snuck around the front of the truck and he didn't move. Postured nice for us and fight. I asked him on the way up, I said, now you good with where we're shooting, your target areas, that kind of stuff. He's like, oh yeah, I've been, I've been searching online for, for, for the kill zones. And so he's been researching good. He's been, he's been all in this. Breathe, breathe, set a mass. Get him. Good shot, watch it. What do you got, Gage? That's right there, he's going down. You hit him, you hit him. Hard shot. Boom! <laughs> nice antelope. Yeah. Nice coat. And the kid from Gunnison. I know, really? <laughs> of all places. <laughs> Proud of you, man. Good job. We'll put our hands on that bad boy. The toughest dude I know. He really is. He's one tough nut. To do these new things, it's a cool experience, and I'm glad that I get to I got to experience this. Yeah, it just it helps you forget about the situation for a little bit. We've been shooting a little bit and that it worked out perfectly. We had our chair, we had our little elbow rest on the little ladder. Had a plan. Boom, turned perfect for us. Yeah. The yardage, <laughs> the yardage we needed was perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. It's got some character points Always Oh, it's going great. That's cool. Some cutters, some curls, yeah. extras. For first goat, that's a pretty good goat. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. More to come. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you see the end of that sprinkler right on that corner of that alfalfa? Pro, pro scout. There you go. <laughs> no, Dallas is in the pole position, yeah. not me. <laughs> Don't look. 
I'm just here in a spot for right now. <laughs> I'm a pair of good eyes. <laughs> Next up on the hunt is Dallas Gilbert. I've, I've had fun, that's all that matters. We first met Dallas back in 2017 when John Mathis offered to mentor Dallas on John's limited entry book clips deer tag. Dallas ended up taking a great buck that year, thanks to John. It was a great morning. That's what it's all about. Dallas has Duchenne's muscular dystrophy, a rare terminal illness that actually took his brother's life a few years back. He's been offered this antelope hunt through the nonprofit organization, Chairbound Sportsman. We started this about uh, over 11 years ago, and uh, the incentive for it was my grandson, who was injured in a four-wheeler and has been paraplegic. And uh, we've seen how hard it is to get people in wheelchairs out in the woods or out fishing and so on. Yeah. And so we kind of decided that maybe we could uh, get volunteers together and do it on an organized basis. Chair Brown Sportsman offers people in wheelchairs a chance to go hunting, fishing, trap shooting, anything to get them experiences in the outdoors. Oh man, it, it opens their eyes up because a lot of them sit around the house and feel they can't do anything. And you get them out in the outdoors, and, uh, and target shoot even, clay pigeon shooting. Oh, uh, it's just a thrill for them. There was a lot of antelope and, and they, were, they were perfect for a hunt like this. You can drive around, you get to see them chasing each other and they're never gonna run over the next hill and be gone. And so they're always available. And so for a hunt for, for uh, Jackson and Dallas, that's, that's what they need. Dallas and his stepdad, Todd, have found the perfect buck and situation for Dallas. Dallas isn't able to hike very far, so this buck right off the road fits the bill. Ooh, good shot. Nice shot, Dallas. Oh, How's that nice for job. Track? How's that yeah. for a tracking job? You think you can find him? Oh. We don't need Gabe to track that one. Please. He's really tall Man. and his cutters come off high. Got out there, he was turned sideways. Nailed it. So that right there is what it's all about, gentlemen. That's cool. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. That's amazing. Good go. Yeah. You see Dallas here and he's smiling and he's still, you know, fighting. Makes our struggles seem really small and, and very minute. So they're an inspiration. Dude, that's a good go. For your first one? Mm-hmm. He's gonna be hard to beat. What did you say coming out? You wanted hooks? And you wanted eye guards. That's not guards, got them. Exactly. Got some cool cutters. Look at that right cutter. Oh, yeah. I like him. All right, that's I got the seal of approval from my guide. He said he liked him. That's it. Our final hunt is with Hunts for the Brave, an organization that is dedicated to giving heroes and their families outdoor experiences. Why do you do these hunts? Uh, it's a chance to give back. You could see the uh, look on their face today as they get out here and hunt. It's not necessarily about the hunting, but it's the brotherhood. It's the interaction. Um, you can hear them at lunch laughing and talking and giggling. That's what it's about, giving them something to do, somewhere to go. That's what we came out to do, right? Yeah, he's nice. What do you think of him? He's definitely nice. I like gnarly buggers, you know. Their hunter today is Ryan McIntosh, who was nominated by his softball buddy and guide today, Bryant Jacobs. Both are veterans, both lost a leg in war, and both are here to have a good time. It just, just that brotherhood, right? Like, I can sit with Bryant, I can talk trash all day long about anything. Like, hey, Bryant, you, you messed up, you, like, you broke your fork, you spilled it in your lap. Like, I can joke with him for like, I don't know, the next three months about one thing. But no matter what, like at the end of the day, we're still a team and we still have a bond. And I went through a really dark phase in my life for a few years. And the two things that got me out of that was hunting and my wife. There's nothing better than being out in the mountains or, you know, in the desert, you know, wherever, just with a bunch of guys just BSing and having fun and looking at animals. I got 300. Let me see if I can get a little steadier here. Just one yeah. So many does behind him. Ryan has found a buck he'd like to take. The only problem, the buck is surrounded by does. We cut the gap to 200 yards, and just as Ryan is about to take a shot, the whole herd runs off. 
you want me to go to the road or here to the right? We run back to the buggy and head off trying to cut off the herd. Tell me where you guys are comfortable. Out right there, I think. Yeah. You want me to stop? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do Step out in the front. Okay. Yeah, range it. 30. Okay. I hit that with my driver. <laughs> He's to the right of the tire, right? There you go. There you go. Did, did, yeah. So stoked. Hell yeah. That's just better than a good day at work, isn't it? Check that out, Brian. Hell yeah. I didn't think my daughter's gonna think of that bad boy. That's awesome, man. Oh, that's a great goat. Great organization, these guys. All of them, from. Uh, Hunts for the Brave to Chairbound Sportsman's, ECOA, the Gurr Foundation. Uh, I encourage you to get involved with these guys. Give back when you can because uh, there's deserving people out there, deserving people like Ryan that uh, put their life on the line for our country. All over the place, right? Yes, all over the world. So we need your help. Sure appreciate if you could, if you have the means to help out when you can. That was a full day. Four organizations, three bucks down already. I've never seen it happen before, so. Jackson, man, we almost bagged one in five minutes. Uh, good time. Dallas right behind him, and uh, Ryan's bringing up the rear. Now we got one more guy to get a get a buck. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Hey, I'd encourage, uh, like we said earlier, to all of you to get involved. If whether you're a veteran, maybe you have a kid that has some disabilities or is struggling with some ailments, man, get a hold of one of these foundations. There's a lot of room out there um, to get these kids out in the outdoors and enjoying it, uh, like these guys did today. So. Hats off to all the groups. I'm Adam Eagle, KSL Outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.